welcome again to the second part of the video uh, in this part of the video we'll be covering the point of the present perfect simple and one thing that I recommend that you need to study the present perfect simple versus the past simple because they are pretty much similar to each other um, first let me cover the three major uh, uses for the past the present perfect simple which is for the actions that happened in the past but we don't mention when exactly like we don't have clear evidence for time I have traveled to Poland twice but I didn't say when I did this I didn't say when I went to Poland just I said I've traveled to Poland so here we have uh, no clear evidence for time but in comparison with the past simple I can say I I traveled to Poland yesterday for example I traveled to Poland two years ago so two years ago and yesterday is like a, uh, an evidence time reference for uh, showing that this action took place at this specific uh, uh, duration or specific uh, time of um, the action or the verb uh, so again the, the 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 first point that we need to cover that the present perfect simple is for an actions that happened uh, in the past but we don't mention when exactly we don't have clear evidence for time remember this number two for state which started in the past and continues up to the present something that happened in the past but it's still true in the present uh, remember this was like this Nike uh, tech you know uh, let me talk about an action that happened in the past and still true at the present I have taught you for two years that means I started to teach you two two years ago and I still do this at the moment you understand this uh, so again mark has had his scar since September that means this person who is mark still have his own car at the moment okay um, so again we use the present perfect simple for uh, a state and action that started in the past and continues up to the present still true till this moment uh, number three for actions that happened in the past and finished but their results their effects are obvious in the in the present you can see their effects at the moment I am tired I've just finished studying you feel tired after doing a lot of work or uh, a lot of mental work so of course you you will be feeling that I'm not, I'm not okay I'm, I'm tired so you can express this by the present perfect when you say I have finished studying that means you have been doing something for a while look Jerry has broken his leg of course when you mention and when you call somebody uh, with a broken leg that means he cannot walk or she cannot walk uh, because he or she has broken their legs so again has broken his leg something that happened in the past but the results the effects are true in the present okay uh, that's for the present perfect simple a while ago I said that uh, the best way to understand the present perfect simple is to put it with comparison with the past simple and here we made it into major two points two points here two points there okay the present perfect simple is used like I said for actions that happened in the past but we don't say when exactly we don't know when I've eaten Indian food I don't know when I did this or uh, she has been to Italy we don't know when she went to Italy but when we go to the other part the other side of the past simple we have definite time we have clear evidence for time I ate Indian food last night so last night here is the timing that the action took place um, that's for the first point for the second point for actions that started in the past and still true still happening in the present remember the last example I have taught you for two years that means I started to teach you in the past and I am still your teacher till this moment uh, we have another example here Ted has worked as a waiter for two years that means he is still working okay uh, for the other part or the counterpart actions that is started and were completed in the past uh, look so Ted worked as a waiter when he was a student that means he is not a waiter at the moment he is studying or he's busy doing something else 
Okay? So again, when you mention an action in the past simple, that means this action has uh, uh, completed in the past. But when you mention the, the action in the present perfect simple, that means the action started in the past and still true in the present. So the question comes, um, if we don't use time references in the present perfect, what should we use? Here the answer. We should use two time uh, references for and since. I need you to imagine with me that this whole slide is like a um, big C. And in, in this C, we have two things. First, we have uh, a dot, a point, and we have uh, this line, um, something which is called um, period of time. So we have a line and we have a dot. I can use the dot to, to talk about points in time. I, I'm sorry, I'm awful with typing with the mouse. So the, the dot refers to the point in time. What is the point in time? The point in time is like when the action started, when the action uh, uh, started actually happening, took place, okay? So when I say that I have uh, taught you since 2019, that means this year, 2019, was the year that I started to teach you, okay? So the point in time, we use it with since, here, like you can read since plus a specific point in time. And four with a period of time. Look here at this uh, line. In this line, this is like the same uh, um, idea of um, the length, okay? I'm talking about something that I can measure. And the same, four, I use it with words. I, u I use it with um, years. I, u I use it with something that I can count. Okay, like here for a period of time. I've had this car for two years. I can count the two years. One year, two years. So I counted them. So that means I can use four with period of time that I can count. Again, let's read it here. We use four and since for actions that started in the past and continue up to the present. Four plus a period of time. Uh, remember the period of time with this uh, arrow or this line. Uh, I've had this car for two years. That means I can count the, the number of the years, one and two years, and that means I had the car in the past and I still have it till this moment. Uh, and since I use it with a specific point in time, like I mentioned, to I, I use since with a point in time. Um, okay, one last thing that you need uh, to pay attention to that we use the past simple as a point in time. Look at this example. Jolie has changed jobs three times since she came to Lakewood. Came this, and, and then this one and this verb is a past simple tense. So this past simple tense um, shows you that this is a point in time. This is the point that the action started to take place. Okay? Okay, one last thing that you need to pay attention to is uh, the use of have been and have gone to. Remember have been and have gone with uh, those two lines that I have drawn here. Uh, the, the two lines on the left shows you that someone has been to a place and then he gets back. He's back home again. I have been to school. That means I, uh, I went to school and I'm home now. But when I say I have gone, remember I have gone with this arrow with no turning point. I went to school. But I didn't come back. I still, I'm, I'm still uh, uh, enjoying my time with my friends there. I'm still having classes. I didn't get back home. Okay. So again, have been to equals have visited and come back. Uh, remember it with uh, two errors, one going there and one going here. And have gone to equals uh, you have been to you have um, you have been to some, yeah somewhere and you didn't get back. You didn't return yet. Uh, I've been to the cinema twice this week. That means I went and get back. John is not here. He's gone to the post office. That means he's he is still there in the post office and he didn't get back. Last thing that I need to highlight here is um, the time expressions that we use with the present perfect. Uh, we use always, ever, never, ever, and ever, ever. I use it in the question, never is in the answer, in the negative answer, of course. I use before, I use once, twice, many times, so far, just recently, lately, for and since, already, and yet, and so on. Pay attention that the word yet is used in two things, first in the questions and two in the negatives. 
I haven't, I haven't studied my homework yet. And have you done your homework yet? Pay an another attention to the word already and the word just. They are two nosy words. You know the meaning of nosy? They interfere between the uh, have and has and the past participle. I say I've just done my homework, uh, already done my homework. Pay attention here. Uh, we talked about since and for lately and recently. They, they are adverbs and they are they come at the end of the sentence. Um, the rest of them are like uh, unlikely to happen. So pay attention to um, the word yet, the word uh, ready, the word just, the word since and for. Okay, to highlight things again, I need to remind you that the past simple um, is for an action that happened in the past and completed in the past. But the present perfect is for an action that happened in the past but it's still true, still happening at the moment, still happening in the present. Uh, the past simple, we have clear evidence for uh, time, but in the past, in the present perfect, we don't mention the time. We don't mention when this action uh, took place. Um, and that, that reminds you with, uh, that reminds me with uh, something that I need to mention, which is, Pay attention, we don't use the question word when with the present perfect. I can't say when have you been there because there's no time mentioned. So what should I use instead, mister? I can use how long. How long have you been there? How long uh, have you um, waited for him, for example? So I can use how long instead of when in the present perfect. Um, Okay, so pay attention to the upcoming session, which will uh, be talking about the present progressive and uh, the present perfect.